Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to um, make a video about, well, YouTube Rewind 2018. And this is something I don't usually talk about. And I wanted to record it on my phone, but my battery's pretty low, so I was like, nah, forget it. Put it on the laptop because I have it for a reason. And I don't know. It's. Again, it's not something I usually talk about because I'm never on it. I, I've never been on YouTube Rewind before. YouTube has yet to give me the respect that I deserve for over nine, almost ten freaking years. Come next year, come June 4th next year, I will, it will be ten years since I've created this YouTube account. And 10 years in the making, I'm still not on YouTube Rewind. So, I've never been interested in YouTube Rewind, period. I've heard about it, yes. I may have seen a few videos here and there, but they've never really excited me about things that's happened this year. Because usually when it happens, it's come and gone. Because then whenever YouTube Rewind happens, it's more or less of a callback to everything that has happened like oh yeah i remember i remember this guy i remember when this happened man this year was a pretty good year for him or her or whatever so why why am i talking about youtube rewind well because youtube rewind after doing a bit of research and um Watching a few videos, YouTube ha has slowly but surely turned from making it about content creators to mainstream media. Like, basically, if it doesn't fit mainstream media terms of service, YouTube is going to leave you behind. Which was basically the adpocalypse. Basically, if YouTube didn't like you, you didn't get any ad revenue, you didn't get any advertisements, you didn't get any monetization, and they they pushed that further by upping the subscriber rate, by upping the subscriber um, count to 1,000 to anybody to even be considered. You have to be considered. You don't get an invite. You have to apply to be monetized, to have monetization, to make money uploading YouTube. But YouTube tends for, to forget that there's this wonderful, wonderful website called Patreon. And what I use Patreon for is for my Discord, uh, mostly, mostly for Discord. Um, I haven't really thought about YouTube or Twitch when it came to Patreon because I know some people would would be like, okay, if, if you subscribe to me on Patreon, then you get exclusive content such as behind the scenes of everything. But the thing is, is that I already explain what's going on behind the scenes in my vlogs. I explain what's going to happen with them this month in my monthly channel updates and vlogs. So there's really no need for me to say, if you subscribe to me, you get behind the scenes exclusive when I'm literally giving it to you already. I'm not going to freaking put things behind a paywall because I'm not EA. I'm not Microsoft. I'm not Sony. I'm fucking not Nintendo. And I, I hate to say that, even though EA is actually worse than Nintendo, but Nintendo can do what Nintendo does. And whatever. I, I, I'm, I'm afraid to even mention Nintendo because even mentioning Nintendo by name could probably uh, initiate a copyright strike. So I'm going to be careful.
Nintendo, if you're watching this and you give me a copyright strike because I mentioned your name, I'm going after you. Hate to say it, but it's true. I'm I'm getting pretty sick and tired of the, of uh, companies filing a copyright claim over a name being said. Because you can't do that. That's under fair use. You you legally cannot do that under the fair use law here in America. And I did a stream not too long ago, it might have been two weeks ago, about Article 13. And I do believe that that's probably going to change. So it just really depends on what's, what's going to happen. But going back to YouTube Rewind, YouTube... I have no idea what the hell YouTube is doing. Nobody wanted to see Will Smith host this damn thing. Nobody wanted any of this, really. Did any of these animators thought about this? Thought about what they were even creating? Thought about, well, we kind of deserve something in the spotlight like more than three seconds of our time. And not to mention a channel that has been nine years, nine to almost 10 years in the making that has worked his butt off since he was in high school with a mask, playing games, making emergency alert system mocks, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And he's not even a mention by name, not even a little tease. I'll consider the nighttime as a as a little mention of me at this point. I'll consider that. Because that's exactly what I've been doing for the past nine years. I haven't been doing this for fucking nothing. I do it because it, inter it it keeps me entertained. That's the only reason why I'm still doing this, is because it's keeping me entertained. It's keeping me sane right now. This is the only thing that's really keeping me tied up, tied together. And um, I'm still not mentioned, not even a little. I have 600 subscribers. Doesn't that mean anything to anybody? And, again, it might not. It really might not. And I don't want to make this about me at all. I really don't, because there's a lot of other people that deserve to be on the YouTube spotlight that aren't. For example... I know this has been said too many times, but um, how about PewDiePie and T-Series? Shouldn't that be more important than K-pop? And don't get me wrong. I'm not the biggest K-pop fan, and I'm not hating K-pop any way, shape, or form. Because if anybody knows me, I'm more of a metal guy. But wouldn't anybody think PewDiePie versus T-Series or that boxing match between Jake Paul and whatever the other guy is, KSI or wh whoever he is. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't even care. I don't care what his name is. I don't care who Jake Paul's boxing but it's bringing in all kinds of people interested in this stupid amateur boxing thing that they're paying out of their own goddamn pockets for because of a stupid dispute. I'm more hyped about Alex Clark versus James, a.k.a. The Odd Ones Out. In a chess boxing. I, I have no idea how the hell that's going to go. I want to let, let both of them know. If they need an events manager. Or if they need a guy to hype things up. 
you know what? They don't even need to ask me because I'll do it right here, right now. At the mention, at the mention of here's one death a year. I I don't I don't really want anything actually. All I want is a little bit of respect, and that's that's something YouTube has been going um, a little short on, and. It surprises me when they are, well, kind of against Article 13. Because they kind of have to, in able to keep control of, of everything. That's, that's what they're all about. They're all about control. But they don't, they, they want to be the ones in control. Not the EU, not the United States. They want to be the ones in control. That's the only reason why YouTube is against Article 13. Only reason. They probably don't care about net neutrality. They're probably more hyped about net neutrality because that just gives them more control. And I'll firmly believe this until they prove that they're for the content creator. That they're for people like me. That they're for people like... I'm just, I'm just going to start throwing names out there. More people like Giddy Kitty. More people like my friend Spike. Who doesn't really record. Who doesn't really do anything. He's more of a streamer. Yet he's gotten, really, no fan base. People like my friend Dragonmire, who hasn't really done anything for a long time, whom I've been trying to freaking get back into the YouTube swing of things, whom has really been the one that's helped push the one Death Eater character to become bigger than me, before I more or less started to take over and take a different direction towards the channel and turn it to a gaming channel at that time. I don't even know how many subscribers Dragonmire has, but I can assure you it's not as much as mine. I could probably start naming channels left and right. If I really wanted to, it's just too many. It's it's too many to count. And not to also mention, I got too many freaking names ro rolling in my head. I can't even stick to one. So I might, I might be rambling on. I might be stuttering. Hell, I I might not even know what the hell I'm talking about at times. But I'm pretty sure that a lot more people deserve to be on YouTube Rewind than Will Smith, for one. This is why I'm probably will end up becoming a big channel next year in 2019. I might be predicting the the impossible here, but I can assure you I have some big things coming that will change the channel dramatically. That's if they happen the way I'm intending them to. For example, I challenged Markiplier. I've, I've yet to get a reply, but it's only been like a few days. Let's give it like a month or so. Let's see if that video does get seen by him. Because honestly, if Mark wants to reach out to smaller channels like he, he said he wants to, then I hope he finds my channel. I really do. I really hope that either him or one of his friends or somebody off of this fan base finds this channel and shows him 
somehow, some way, the challenge video or this video or any of my other videos and say, this guy wants a piece of, uh, this guy wants to uh, fight, basically. And it, it's not entirely a, a boxing match that I'm challenging because it's kind of hard to explain whenever I'm making things up on the fly. This challenge of power isn't entirely about fighting. It's really about creativity. That's really what it truly means. And creativity is done best when you really don't know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> That's really how you can tell how good somebody is based on how well they can do it when they're just left alone to their own devices. Just like how I'm left alone here in this tiny apartment that's the same size as my parents' basement. So... What's next for YouTube? What's next for YouTube Rewind? And what's next for Wool One Death Year? Because again, ten years is coming up pretty fast. It's a, it's an it's, it's in another six months. It's coming pretty fast. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's probably gonna be some kind of a stream. Or we'll, where we'll most likely just take a look back at everything that I've done within the past 10 years. And that would include blog TV. That would, um, except that I have nothing to show for blog TV. Um... Could talk about my pa uh, my uh, successes through Roblox. I could talk about my successes through uh, the trolls, the uh, constant shows that I've done. For example, Death Theater Among Thieves. That transition to Death Theater the Unknown. Probably give you guys a, a whole story about that. And how I created shows like Death Theater Among Thieves, um, I Troll You, which was originally um, with the Death Theater mask that kind of transitioned to another character that was doing the I Troll You stuff and all that. I could tell you guys story after story if that's what you guys want. But really, it's what these vlogs are kind of for. That, that's it's kind of why I don't dedicate a video to one thing because I end up rambling about something else. But it eventually does come to the point. So YouTube, I don't think this is a good idea. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea to, to continue to appeal to mainstream media. Because nobody wants to appeal to the mainstream media. They have to so that people would stop attacking them. And that's why I've stopped. I've stopped giving a damn about the mainstream media. And I guess that's probably why YouTube hasn't really give a damn about me. It's because I've stopped giving a damn about mainstream media. 
Because I started supporting people who I want to support and not what they wanted me to support. Because I assured you, if I had supported Hillary Clinton, if I had made videos supporting her, think about how many subscribers I could have gained. Even though I was lying through my teeth. Even though I was pissed off, or even though I would be pissed off talking about it. Even though I would be telling myself I really don't want to upload this, but goddamn, I could use the subscribers. YouTube tends not to like that. YouTube tends not to like people who are honest. YouTube doesn't like people who vote for somebody that actually does their goddamn job. YouTube doesn't really enjoy the hardworking American as much as everybody else. They tend to enjoy the corporates like Comcast, like T Series. I hate to say it, but that's technically what T-Series is. They're a company that YouTube is supporting. YouTube doesn't want PewDiePie. Why? Because PewDiePie does what PewDiePie wants. Not what YouTube wants. And why do you, why do you think people are saying unsubscribe to T-Series, subscribe to PewDiePie? Because PewDiePie best represents who we are as creators. That's the reason why they weren't mentioned at all in, uh, in YouTube Rewind. And I'm surprised Markiplier made, a, made an appearance. <clears throat> I'm very surprised he was in it at all. Even if it was for a frame of a set, or well, even even if it was for like a second or two. So this is something I enjoy talking about. So this is something I want to talk about. The only reason why I am talking about it because. Not enough people are. Even though you could probably look everywhere at any big YouTuber complaining about why they weren't in it, or that they turned down YouTube Rewind because of either a last minute decision or something. Because I fully believe YouTube is starting to not care about YouTube creators. The first thing they said in the video was, we control YouTube Rewind this year. What should we do? And the first thing they said was K-pop. K-pop. Again, I'm not sh I'm not taking a shit on K-pop. But does K-pop really need to be the first thing said, mentioned, period? It's not the biggest thing ever. It definitely isn't. I could I, I could tell you what the biggest thing ever is. Fucking Jake Paul calling out that fucking dude for a boxing match. That was the biggest thing that happened this year. And you not even a mention of it. No PewDiePie versus T series. Not even a whisper.
instead we, we, we get we get this emotional fucking joke and I don't even know if it is a joke I really don't I I, I don't even know why I said it, it it was a joke because you can probably tell I'm not into this me too group because there is no me too. I'm sorry, but if you're just, if you're going to wait 10, 20 years to say something, you don't deserve a me too. And I know I've made some mistakes. I I know, and I've apologized to pretty much everybody who I have hurt so far. So I know it, it it's it's bound to happen. Somebody's bound to say I did something. I like to say I paid my consequences. I was banned from a few things this year that I totally regret regret doing. Excuse me. Regret doing. I I do because I, I like I said. Not a lot of people changed instantly. That's because not a lot of people are mean. Not a lot of people instantly regret having an argument with a friend over something completely stupid like something about it, or no, it was um, it was another argument with somebody. And there were times that I was unfairly banned from, from a few channels. One of which, of a video that you guys saw few weeks ago when I made a video towards Nano, whom, again, I'm still subscribed to and who I'm still waiting on a reply to or for. You guys may have also noticed that I've disabled the comments on that video of some lies going around of a former admin saying that, oh, I'm glad I banned you. And I might have I, I might have to keep doing it. I might have to keep disabling comments. And it's not to prove a point. It really isn't. It's to stop all the lies. And again, I'm going I'm going off topic here, but doesn't everybody deserve to be on YouTube Rewind? And when I mean everyone, I mean everyone. YouTube Rewind should be about creators. And it should be about creators that have busted their fucking ass off year after year after year. that deserves at least one mention, even if it's text, even if you have to freaking type it out on Arial Black typed one Death Eater, or well, this way. I just don't, I, I really just don't get it. And I might, I, this video might be a bit long, but at the end of the day, somebody's got to talk about it. Somebody's got to mention, well, why is YouTube just being so freaking political, or no, not political, why is 
you to be more mainstream. Because YouTube is owned by a corporation. YouTube itself is becoming its own corporation. I hate to say it, but it's you can kind of see it everywhere. You can really see that YouTube, even though it's owned by Google, is pretty much its own corporation. I can go on and on and on. Well, honestly, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of thinking about it. I'm getting tired of talking about it. I'm getting, I'm tired of seeing it everywhere. I, I am. And YouTube wants to say that Oh, we're for creators. Well, fucking prove it. Prove it by promoting a random small channel that probably doesn't even deserve to be noticed. Promote a, uh, promote a channel that has 100 subscribers. Or 200, or 300, or 600. Promote a channel that's been on your website and has been loyal to your website for for two, five, almost ten years. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. So, come 2019, whenever it comes around, I'm going to prove to everybody, including YouTube, that small channels deserve a chance. Small channels with 600 subscribers less deserve a chance. By forcing people to, you have to be, you have to uh, have at least 1,000 subscribers. Well, God damn it, I'm going to reach that next year. And I promise I will reach it next year. There ain't nothing stopping me from that. And I can assure you, as soon as I reach 1,000 subscribers, they're going to push it. They're going to push that monetization rate. They're going to push it. Not only do you ha need to have now 2,000 subscribers, you have to have 2,000 views per video. You have to... Make a video, or yeah, all of your videos have to be at least 10 minutes long, exact. Can't be any longer, can't be any shorter. Has to be 10 minutes exact to earn that monetization money. Or you can't be monetized at all. Sorry, but it's true. It's true. You might be you might be typing down below. That ain't that ain't right. YouTube ain't gonna freaking do that. They've already put it at one thousand. Watch. As soon as I hit one thousand, they'll push it. And if they don't, that's because they were watching me. And if they don't, I'll still call them out. I'll still call them out about it. It doesn't matter. Do it or not, I don't give a damn. Because honestly, at the end of the day, if I hit 1,000 subscribers, 2,000, 3,000, 100,000, 
this year alone on my own with no help whatsoever then we will be here again when YouTube Rewind hits 2019 and we'll probably talk about this again we'll, we'll probably talk about why YouTube still won't contribute to more creators, more smaller channels that deserve to be in YouTube Rewind, that deserve to be noticed, that deserve a little bit of attention. That's, that's all I have to say about that. Tomorrow? Being Tuesday, tomorrow being Tuesday, I will be picking up a PlayStation 4 Slim. I was able to have a look at it. I'm going to be getting it from a rent rent a center. I'm going to be picking it up. It's it's a be it's a beautiful console. Probably I'll probably do a uh, unboxing vid if you guys want that or not. You know what? I'll just do it anyways. I'll do it, and then uh, we'll play. We'll probably play some Red Dead Redemption Wednesday, maybe. Just really depends. And whenever I get the refund from Amazon and Microsoft, I'll probably run over to GameStop and pick up Spider-Man. We'll probably just play that. Cause I've really been wanting to play Spider-Man. And since I'll finally, finally, finally get a PlayStation 4 after all this time, after, well, seeing a few deals and getting a pretty special offer from Renaissance Center of all places, with $60 down and my next payment isn't even until the 29th or so, I don't know when. I, I can't remember now. All I know is like it's at the end of the month. And I don't I don't even have to pay anything at all. I, I like it's twenty freaking dollars every week, I think. Twenty freaking dollars a week. Renting to own this freaking PlayStation console. It's pretty crazy. And it comes with Titanfall 2. I'll explain what the console is, and then you guys will be able to see it for yourself tomorrow. But uh, it's a special edition blue PlayStation 4. Slim. One terabyte, which is what I wanted. I wanted either a Slim or Pro, because I think a Slim runs PlayStation VR, even though I'm not going to use it at all. I'm not even going to get it. I don't want it. I got... I got this. I got this. This is what I use for VR. This is a freaking ACR Windows Mixed Reality. It says it right freaking there. Windows Mixed freaking Reality. And I plan on getting an Oculus Rift within the next month or so. Hopefully, if I can still keep freaking rent up to date, which I will. I will. You know I will. Because I'm, I'm darn freaking serious about this. And even if I have to get another job that makes twice as much money as I'm making right now, because honestly, I can handle $600 a week, but it's kind of tough when... I keep breaking the bank every other fucking week with rent and bills and shit. Fortunately, I've canceled Spotify, Amazon Prime, um, Xbox Live, and I'm on the verge of of, uh, of terminating my YouTube TV service 
and YouTube Red because I really doubt I need any of that since I have an antenna right there. I have an antenna. I could just watch local TV if I really wanted to, and I could look up whenever um, sports games are going to be on local TV. The national championship game will be on local television. And I think a few um, bowl games will be on uh, local local TV. Unfortunately, I don't get ESPN. Unfortunately, I don't get any special movie channels. But hey, I get I get old TV. I get old um, TV movies called movies exclamation mark. Pretty interesting channel with a bunch of old movies. I could watch old TV shows, I guess. Hell, I could probably still watch Family Feud, which is on um, whatever fucking channel it's on. There are a few sh channels that has interest interested me. So, you know, there's that. I know I should, probably should have ended the video about five, ten minutes ago. I'm just rambling at this point. So, you know what? Let's end it right now. So, what's, what's, what's it like? Forty freaking minutes of a freaking long ramble about how YouTube Rewind is pretty much crap. Everybody knows it by now. And if you've, if you've come this far, then... I'd like to personally thank you for watching this big ramble. Because I don't usually ramble this long, unless if it's a podcast. I don't. I felt like I really needed to get this off my chest, because I felt like I really needed to say something. Somebody has to say something. You know what, it might as well have been me. Because I know there's a lot of other YouTubers like Philip DeFranco, um, Angry Joe, that might be talking about it. Um, Alex Clark said something about it. He was he was uh, messaged by YouTube. Um, and I, I, I can't remember his exact words, but something like, had to have it done in like six hours or less. So that was like a last minute thing by him. And I don't blame him. I really don't. I don't blame him for for not doing um, YouTube Rewind. Because if I was offered a chance to be in YouTube Rewind, but I had to make a video and do my freaking magic within six hours or less, I would tell them to go fuck themselves. Because, number one, not only is that an ultimate disrespect to me, you're forcing me to take my time out of my day to make something for you that I'm probably not even going to get paid with. That I'm probably at work at the same time as your email to me. Saying that it has to be done in six hours. Yeah, well, guess what? My shift starts at 2. 2.30 p.m. And say I get an email like right before I have to go to work, saying that it has to be done in six hours or less. So not only would they get a complete fuck you, but I would explain to them why I will most likely never make a video for YouTube Rewind for as long as I live. So don't even bother emailing me, YouTube. Don't even. 
don't even. In fact, just know that I will not make any video for YouTube Rewind in the near future. Don't even ask. Not until you can prove to me that you care about smaller channels, that you care about content creators, that you care about people who have been kicking their own butt for 10 fucking years with no mention whatsoever. Don't email me. Period. I don't want that. I don't want to fucking make a video for you. You know what you can do? You can mention me by name. That's what you can do. You can mention me by name with a freaking text saying one death eater. You could show a clip of this exact video of me giving you the verb. Here it is. That's what you can use. Because honestly, I don't give a damn. You can probably tell I don't give a damn because I only have 600 subscribers. What's a guy with 600 sus subscribers going to do? Well, let me tell you something. 600 subscribers turn into 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers turn into 2,000, then 4,000, then 8,000, so on and so forth. Eventually, it turns into 100,000. And eventually, it turns into 500,000. And eventually, that turns into 1 million subscribers, YouTube. It turns into 1 million subscribers. One million. And I still bet they would never email me. But they would never mention me by name. They probably won't even send me a plaque of a congratulations for earning. Um, what's, what's the first plaque you get? Is it for 1,000 subscribers or is it for 100,000 subscribers? I can't remember. But um, they probably won't even send me a plaque or send me an email saying congratulations on 1,000 or 100,000 subscribers. Please give us your um, address so we can email or so we can uh, send you your plaque. They probably won't even freaking send it to me. They won't email me about a plaque. They probably won't even congratulate me. That that's probably how much they really don't give a damn about me. So I won't even feel bad. So this freaking wall will probably stay empty. Because that's probably where I'll eventually put all my plaques. I'll probably hang them all up on this wall. Probably up until I move out of here. Probably this wall. That wall next to the couch. Probably put one there next to the freaking curtain. Uh, yeah, the curtain. I'll probably put one in the dining room. Put one right, right there. Or actually, make a freaking line down here of freaking plaques. Why not? Or over here, where the tree will eventually go. So, there's that. Anyways, I think I recorded a little too long. You think I probably should have ended it earlier? Did you come this far? Let me know if you did come this far, actually. With that being said, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. My throat hurts. It's midnight. So, happy Tuesday. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little ramble rant thing. So, this is an official vlog, 
by the way. So don't don't get don't get me wrong when you when you when you <laughs> when you've seen how long this video was and how surprised you are by getting this far. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like down below. Leave a comment saying how much you enjoyed it. Even if you didn't. Even if you said, eh, it was crap. I think Phil DeFranco said it best. Because your opinion matters at the end of the day. Because I don't, I personally don't care if people get inspired by this specific video by me saying that, oh, YouTube isn't fair. And you get inspired by saying, you know what? YouTube isn't fair. Subscribe. <laughs> Jeez. This is what I get for freaking recording late at night. Had a long day as it was, but you know what? Instead of rambling, I'm going to end the video. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Uh, and if you haven't already, if you've never seen my channel before, or you have and you haven't subscribed for some reason, and you still made it this far because you're freaking insane, thank you. And give me a freaking subscribe so you can watch another 46, 47 minute vlog eventually in the future because that's that's what this freaking channel needs it needs 50 it needs hour-long vlogs that's what it needs that that's what this channel is probably going to turn into is an hour-long vlog session with me around subscribe to that for that and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified whenever I go live or whenever I upload a video also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description below. Also, if you would like to support me on Patreon, you can. The link is also down in the description. I also, also, have a Discord. The invite link is down in the description. Basically, if you want anything of, of me, it's probably down there in the description. down description. Anyways, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.